Okay, so here we've got another 1983 Honda CR480. Uh, maybe you've seen the video that I did yesterday of another one of these. Um, basically, there's a guy come in, a regular customer, who always buys a few bikes for each container, uh, and he's coming on uh, on Friday, uh, and I've promised him the pick of the two, really. Um, the one yesterday, someone had tried to restore it, I think. Uh, this one's not uh, not had that. It's obviously been used, uh, but it looks in overall to be a very genuine and original bike. A um, few bits and pieces about it which aren't perfect, but you know, it's 1983, it's nearly 40 year old. Um, and uh, But overall it looks in very good restorable condition flipping the compression in these motors always always gets me that one yesterday i really had to give it a good a good kick to get it to uh, to get it to fire uh to get it to spin enough to fire uh, i'm sure this one's going to be the same um probably other than other than the fact it's just been a bit weathered uh, the worst bits about this one are someone's welded a uh, side stand uh, lug onto it um, and they've also welded a sump guard onto the frame. Hopefully that would mean that when you take that off that the frame rails are perfect but it also means it can't actually check, uh, check them. Um, it's had the exhaust uh, has been a little bit bashed. It's not it's seen a lot, lot worse, but you can see where it's kind of kind of hit the frame when it's been bashed. Uh, so uh, that'll need uh, that'll need straightening out. Uh, but he's a pretty skilled fella. The uh, the guy who buys these bikes off me, so I'm sure that'll be something he can. Uh, do no problem at all. So let's have a close look at her. So some of the things which always happen, basically the things like the plastics and stuff in the sun and the heat uh, in America, the plastic seat covers, the uh, plastics go white, the seat covers go brittle and crack. Uh, and that's what's happened to this one. Um, and then some of the the rubber, you know, like your chain rollers and stuff like that. Um, they, yeah, uh, they also corrode as well. But looks, looks to be quite decent, really. Original paint on the frame, which is I always like to see that. Bit of scuffing on the tank. Uh, you would be able to get that out. I just want to be able to sand that back and then polish it up. Um, it's obviously been used this bike, uh, but um, lots of nice original bits on it really. Um, like I say, the original paint, which I always like to see. And then, yeah, just some lovely, lovely nice original bits. Just looking round it, it's got the original you know, wiring, uh, wiring ties that they put on and the clutch cable guide and uh, yeah, looks nice, looks nice, good original, original condition. Front forks, they're going to need re-chroming or a new set of uh, fork legs. Or replacement set of fork legs. The front wheel is in perfect round, not split condition. I get so many bikes where there's big dents in the wheels and stuff, and it's really nice to see them when they're like that. And that front wheel looks in really good condition overall. Front fork, the actual fork. Uh, 
the fork legs themselves they're in good condition as well a few little scuffs but they'll come out nice um, the grips they often go really sticky and they stick to your hands or stick to your gloves so often the grips have been cut off because when we're pushing these bikes around uh, it's flipping horrible uh, so um, I didn't cut them off that was that will have been done in America that but uh, yeah it's just a it's just a, a thing that we need to do really and then obviously this rubber here has perished uh, so that's been cable tied uh, back on that's a minor minor thing the exhaust hanger it's got the original uh, frame plate on it which is uh, what you want to see Engine casings look good. That's why, so that's where the sump guard has been welded on. And then the uh, the uh, side stand lug as well. Whether that had just snapped off and then they've welded it back on, I'm not sure. I don't think our bikes, our UK bikes would have had that on at all, but I have a feeling that the American ones would have. Uh, rear shock shaft is going to need re-chroming too. Uh, a few places you can send stuff to get that done. I can definitely put you in touch with uh, John O. K. So you can sort that out for you. Uh, back wheel is just dirty. Um, again, some little marks from tyre levers, but that will come out nice. Definitely, definitely well, perfectly round, no splits in it or anything like that. Uh, the hub and the brake plate and everything, they're all in good condition, no damage. Even the flipping torque arm is not bent. That's nice to see, they're often bent, often bent up or whatever. I would say that even the <laughs> Even the chain blocks and everything are in good condition. That's an aftermarket one. Uh, but uh, I would say it's been relatively well looked after this bike uh, while it was being ridden and then it's just been left. Just been left. Nice. Uh, right, let's get the gearbox check done for you. See if I can just... Uh, Right, so it's five speed box, same as the one yesterday. It's in neutral. So one of these two bikes uh, will be up for sale uh, after uh, after Friday. I don't know which one he chooses. I would suspect this one, this one to me, is the much better bike. Um, anyway, so neutral, down into first, up into second, third, fourth, and fifth, that is the top of the beer box. And then fifth, I'm able to just about turn the engine over, down into fourth, third, second, and neutral. Right, I'll go and put the dogs away and then uh, we'll see if we can get it fired up. Okay, so I've just fired this up. Uh, it took about four kicks to be fair. Only took about four kicks to start with. Sometimes the flipping kicking them in eight for ages. This one really didn't, uh, and then it sounds great. Um, not smoky, uh, just sounds like a 480 should do really. Spot on bike. 
please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search Phoenix Motos.